There is a public library for people who can't use print. The Nebraska Library Commission Talking Book and Braille Service. Any Nebraskan who cannot see well enough to read regular print or cannot hold a book or turn its pages can get recordings of their favorite books and magazines for free by mail. The Talking Book and Braille Service has over 60,000 recorded book titles available for checkout on a wide variety of subjects. Fiction, nonfiction, romances, westerns, mysteries, histories, birds, fish, cookbooks, and many more. Many of our recordings come from the Library of Congress. We also operate our own recording studios to add to our collection books and magazines of particular interest to Nebraskans. The books we select for recording are mostly by Nebraska authors, such as Roger Welsh, Ted Kuser, and Tom Osborne, or books with subjects related to Nebraska or the Great Plains, such as Nebraska Moments and the Complete Roadside Guide to Nebraska. We also record 20 different magazine titles, including Nebraska Farmer, Nebraska Land, Nebraska History, Nebraska Life, Cappers, Grit, Big Red Report, Country, and Midwest Living. Our recordings are produced in two small studios operated within our facility. Typical recording sessions are 90 minutes or two hours. A narrator reads one copy of a book or magazine into a microphone in a small room. In another small room, a producer operates a computer with recording software while following along with another copy of the text. There is a window between the two rooms, and the narrator and producer can talk to one another using microphones and small speakers or headphones. The words in the printed text are recorded exactly as they are written. If any mistakes are made, the recording is stopped and started again at the beginning of a good sentence or phrase. We strive for perfect accuracy. Before books and magazines go to the studio, they go through a process we call mapping. In order to make recording sessions run more smoothly and to make sure nothing is missed, marks are placed in the book or magazine to create an order for the recording. This is especially important in magazines, where an article might start on page 10, jump to page 20, and jump again to page 80. After recording the main text of an article, we may need to go back and record extra elements like photograph captions, tables, and sidebars. One of the hardest parts of recording books and magazines is pronunciation. Narrators have access to several dictionaries and pronunciation guides in their recording spaces. We have additional specialty pronunciation guides outside of our studio area, and we also attempt to look up some words by using online resources. We have compiled a list of online pronunciation resources that librarians can also use through the Nebraska Access website at nebraskaaccess.ne.gov slash pronunciation.asp. When recording is finished, books and magazines go through a process called post-production. At this stage, we can make many kinds of adjustments to the recordings to make them sound their best. Volume levels can be adjusted up and down, EQ can be added to improve voices, sibilance, loud S sounds, and plosives, loud P and B sounds, can be reduced, extraneous breathing sounds can be removed, and recordings can be made slightly longer or shorter as needed. Books go through an additional stage of review, in which a volunteer reviewer listens to a recording while following along with a copy of the text, to further ensure that the recording is accurate and noise-free. Any problems found at this point can be re-recorded before a book circulates. When recordings are finished, they are duplicated onto cassettes, and then sorted into mailbags for delivery to our patrons. Magazines are sent out when finished, similar to print magazine subscriptions, and books are shelved and either requested specifically by patrons or sent out because a patron has indicated interest in particular authors or subjects. We are in the middle of a transition to a new format. While we currently create materials for cassette, as we have since the 1970s, we are beginning to work in a new media format called the Digital Talking Book. These books will be circulated on cartridges, which are a specialized form of USB flash drive. This format allows for easy navigation between articles or chapters, but in order for that to work, our recordings will have to go through a new process called markup. In markup, navigation markers are added to the recordings, which can be used by our new players to navigate through books. Our new players and cartridges started arriving in August of 2009. Over the next several years, we will continue to receive more players, and eventually all of our patrons will have them. At the same time, more books in this new format will continue to arrive, and we will be creating Nebraska books and magazines to work with these players too. These books are very easy to use, and the sound quality is great. We're very excited about the future of Talking Books.